Welcome. Today's practice will be wall yoga. So find a place against the wall where you can have a little bit of space. And our theme for the practice will be crown chakra. So top of the head, our connection to something greater than ourselves. Each shape will have an affirmation that I'll repeat a couple times. And you can repeat to yourself and just see if it resonates and what it brings up for you. So to start, we're going to come to face, come beside the wall, right side against the wall. <clears throat> we're gonna come up onto our toes into my favorite toe squat. And then we'll sweep our right arm behind us, adding in a bit of a shoulder stretch as well. So you have a little bend in that elbow and then try to relax the shoulders, looking straight ahead. We'll settle into our first shape, The affirmation here is, my existence is sacred. My existence is sacred. Breathing long and slow. And knowing that these moments on the mat, when we are feeling challenged, we can find a bit of the ease and safety in the breath. And that is a really valuable tool we can take off the mat. Let's do a couple more breaths here. Oh, and slowly release your arms down, slowly come off of those toes. You're gonna walk around because we do have another side. Maybe take a moment just sitting on the tops of your feet. All right, let's move into toe squat and shoulder stretch on this side of the body. Very gently settle yourself in his whip. Keep a good little softness in your elbow. My existence is sacred. And then find a little bit of softness in the neck. Close the eyes. Six breaths. Nice work. Arm, let it slide down. Bring your hands forward so you can take your weight out of those toes. The best way to get into legs up the wall is if you sit nice and close with your hip on your baseboard or hip on your wall, and then you lay down and swing your legs up. Beautiful. So the first shape here against the wall will be figure four. It'll feel a lot like pigeon. We'll take the right ankle and cross it over that left thigh. And then we'll slowly start to bend our left knee, sliding the heel down the wall till we come to our first edge. Meaning we can breathe, but there's definitely a challenge happening. Affirmation for this shape. I exist peacefully with everyone. I exist peacefully with everyone. And if you'd like, you can let your hands rest on your bottom ribs, closing the eyes down, feeling into your body. As soon as your body invites you to possibly go a micro movement deeper, then do that.
And a couple more breaths. Sliding your left foot back up the wall, unwinding the legs, legs up the wall for a moment. Letting the energy flow through that right leg. Crossing left ankle on top of right thigh, sliding into the other side. Slide your right heel down the wall to that first edge. I exist peacefully with everyone. Maybe coming a little deeper in to the shape for about three or four more breaths. And slide your right leg, right foot up the wall. Unwind the legs, legs up the wall. Take a moment here. And this is a lot like um, happy baby or even squat. So you're going to kind of like open your legs up a little more than hips. You're gonna bend your knees, you're gonna slide your feet down the wall. So you're gonna kind of like, yeah, come into squat. You can use your hands to squeeze the knees and the shins towards the earth squat or like happy baby and then think about drawing your heels out a little bit squat or happy baby let the knees relax towards the earth it's really nice deep into the hips i trust in the divine plan I trust in the divine plan. Sometimes the affirmations really resonate. They make you smile. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they make you irritated. All we need to do is just notice where we're at. You don't need to add a story behind it all. And taking your hands, just see if you can squeeze your heels a little closer towards the earth. And then again, just a little draw out of the heels. Draw them out a little bit.
Couple more breaths here. We're going to keep at the hips, heel toe the feet together, soles of the feet together, pressing your knees towards the wall. Butterfly against the wall. Even use your hands and draw your heels down a little closer to the groin, and then bring your hands onto those inner knees and press those knees towards the wall. I openly receive guidance from the universe. I openly receive guidance from the universe. So remember the theme is crown chakra, top of the head, our connection to something bigger to us, our connection to source, higher power, universe, whatever you call it. And by doing these shapes against the wall like this, we're allowing the crown to be as close to the earth as possible, allowing the energy and the fluids to kind of cool there and letting that area not have to move against gravity, right? All day long, the body is like working to pump up into the brain. So we're giving it a chance to just rest with gravity. Just using a little bit more strength in the arms. Maybe you walk the palms back towards the groin a little bit so you can press a little deeper into the shape. Do a couple more breaths. And then use your hands, bring your knees together, soles of the feet onto the wall, slide the legs long, legs up the wall and let's keep going into the hips we're going to slide the leg wide and the dragonfly i am in alignment with my true purpose i am in alignment with my true purpose crown chakra Color white, crystal amethyst, or clear crystal.
Feel what it feels like to let your arms slide away from the body and roll your palms up so you're in this receiving mode. And a few more breaths. I am in alignment with my true purpose. So you may want to help yourself. Use your hands. Maybe slide one leg back to center and then slide the other leg back to center. Take a moment here, legs up the wall. And we'll bend the knees and let the feet slide down the wall and then walk your feet over to the left, all the way down to the earth. And come into this like wall twist. I trust my inner knowing. I trust my inner knowing. And you can see placing your nose towards the left, center, or right, whatever feels best for you. In my practice, nose is either center or the same direction as my knees. One more breath here. Inhale, long through the nose. Exhale at the mouth. And deflate. And then using your feet, walk yourself back to center. 
and keep on going. Walk down to the other side. Settle in, notice the differences. I trust my inner knowing. And a few more breaths here. And then we'll begin to walk our feet back to center. Sliding our legs up the wall into our traditional legs up the wall. Our last posture. And our affirmation here, I am in alignment and connected. I am in alignment and connected. Let's really lengthen our inhale and really lengthen that exhale. You are welcome to stay here for as long as you like. This is a powerful pose for your nervous system, your hormonal, endocrine system, digestion, everything. Reversing the gravity on the body is A++. If you're ready to come on up, we want to bend the knees, slide the feet down the wall, walk the feet towards one side. Keep your eyes closed. And we'll press ourselves on up to seated. And if you can, wiggle back so you are seated right against the wall. 
nice spine right against the wall, back of the shoulders, even back of the head. Snuggle right on in there. Wall yoga is one of my favorites. And we'll bring our hands in prayer to seal the practice. Three things you're grateful for in this time and space right now. Three cleansing breaths in through nose, sigh, one more. When you're ready, eyes can flutter open, you can regain focus. Thank you so much for practicing with me today.